Okay, so a third in our instalment of spending money. Uh, this time we're calculating the original price of something. Uh, so in our past video, you might have seen uh, we were calculating a percentage discount. We were dealing with our pants there. They were 140 down to 110, and we found a percentage discount. In this video, we, however, are calculating the original price. So uh, take this one as an example. This time we're buying shirts, just for something a little bit different. Uh, you can see that there's a 40% off store-wide sale. And this shirt is now only $50. So they haven't shown us what its original price was, but that's what we want to know. Um, what was the shirt originally? Now you could guess it's probably about, about $90 or something. Uh, but we don't know for certain and we need to do some maths to figure that out. Uh, now let's think a little bit about well, how to do this kind of question. Because this is not an easy kind of concept, I guess. Uh, now this is going to look a little bit technical. Uh, there's a little bit of algebra involved in this kind of question. It's sort of an A-level question, so don't be surprised by that. Um, I'm going to use a formula, but it's not going to be a formula with the original price at the front. I'm actually going to use this formula. Uh, the sale, oh, let's use a different color. The sale price of this item is equal to, now this, I know that looks odd, the sale price of this item, we know the sale price, it's $50, but we're going to use that as our formula to begin with, is equal to um, 1 minus the percentage discount. I'll explain why that is in a minute. Times the original price. Okay, now you're probably looking at that going, why? Why? What does that mean? Uh, this, this one minus the percentage discount. This is the same as saying, if you took 40% off something, so if you took 40% off the price of something, 60% would be remaining. So that's this 1 minus. What we're actually doing is 1 minus 40%, which gives us 0 0.6. Uh, so that's how this, this uh, percentage discount works. If you want to talk more about this, certainly let's hang out, talk about this in class, uh, because it is a difficult sort of a concept. Uh, once we've done that, however, it's fairly smooth sailing with just a little bit more algebra involved. Okay, let's put in some numbers now. We know the sale price of this item. It's $50. Now, this is 1 minus the percentage discount. It's 40% off store-wide. But as usual, we don't put our percentage in as a percentage. We put it in as a decimal. So 1 minus 0.4. And then we multiply that by the original price, which we don't actually know. I'm just going to call it OP for short, original price. Okay, I'm getting there. 50 equals 1 minus 0 0.4, that's 0 0.6 times original price. Now, this is a little bit strange. We've got 50 equals 0 0.6 times original price. Now we have to get rid of this 0 0.6 because we want original price by itself. Now this is 0 0.6 times original price. So if we want to get rid of the times we need to do the opposite of that which is divide. So we're going to move our 0 0.6 from this side to this side and when we do it's going to become a divide not a times. Uh, so we'll just jump back into that. 50 divided by 0 0.6 equals original price. And you can type that straight into your calculator and see what we end up with, wherever our calculator is. 50 divided by 0 0.6. Okay, and that's going to give us 83.33. Okay, so we can finish this whole thing by saying the original price was $83.33.
Okay, I know that looks complicated. I know you're going to need to have a little bit of a trouble with it. Make sure you come and talk to me about the complicated maths involved here. Um, and we can probably come up with some different shortcuts and stuff if you're really having trouble with it. I can show you a really fancy diagram that I really don't want to do in the video here. Um, the formula though is SP is equal to 1 minus percentage discount times the original price. There's the, oops, there's the whole formula you're looking for here. And after that, there's a little bit of algebra involved that uh, we'll str you'll struggle with a little bit, but we'll talk about it, talk about it, talk about it until you got it. Okay, that's uh, calculating the original price. Make sure you come and talk to me because it is a sneaky question.